know, people often ask me um, what it takes to, to start a business. What is the key ingredient? How do I how do I start the business, and how did we grow to about twenty million dollar um, twenty million dollars in sales so quickly? You know, they all come up with some new whiz bang idea. They're going to invent the, the better mouse trap. They're going to come up with new software, new hardware, and more often than not, it seems like they've spent their millions before they they thought through their idea. But when we talk about new companies and and growth and success, there really is only one common ingredient across any type of business, whether it's oil or computers or software or anything, and that key ingredient is customers. Without customers, whether you're starting a business, running a business, expanding a business, you don't have a business. There is no business. Customers are the key ingredient. To get those profits, you got to have the customers, and you got to have happy customers. That's the bottom line. You know, Micro Solutions, we've been we've been going and growing, and it's impossible not to have growing pains. It's impossible not to make mistakes. We screw up all the time. And you know, it doesn't bother me as president if I have a, if I have an employee who, who just didn't do something right, who just made a mistake. It's good because if you're not making mistakes, you're not trying hard enough. You know, these things I'm saying they're not unique. They're not things that I just thought up in some some miracle growth. You know, things when I talk to people in our company, when I talk to people about our company, I never have a unique thought. I can't remember. I don't know that I ever did. I can't remember if I ever will, or don't expect ever to. There's no magic formulas to customer service. There's no magic formulas to doing things right. These these sayings that you hear me say are things that I've read elsewhere and, and just regurgitate back. But how many people do them? You know, we all know the golden rule: do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that's nice, you know. But do you do it? But even more importantly than the golden rule, what about the lover's rule? Do unto others as you would love to have them do unto you. That's what we try to stress at Micro Solutions. That's what we try to use to differentiate ourselves, not just to get by, because everybody's going to be nice. You know, when you invite someone into your house that is an acquaintance that you like, okay, you're going to offer them coffee, you're going to offer them a donut. And that's really what you expect, you know, if you went to their house, because you're, you're just acquaintances. But when you leave their house, it was nice. If you go back, fine. If you don't go back, fine. That's the way customers look at businesses. If I go back, fine. If I don't go back, fine. You know, they say that 80% of the people who have a problem tell at least 10 people. Only 10% of the people who had a good experience tell anybody. And it's the same way when you go to visit an acquaintance. And when people come to try to do business with Micro Solutions, I hope and I pray and I try to convey to each and every one of our people that we give them a reason to want to come back. We give them a reason to do a good morning wrap to say, "Okay, let's do business with Micro Solutions." You've got to really concentrate to do unto others as you would love to have them do unto you. If you want to see a young Jeff Bezos doing one of his first interviews, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Hi there, who are you? I'm Jeff Bezos. And what, are your, what is your claim to fame? <laughs> I'm the founder of Amazon.com. 